factors that lead to coronary artery disease and death in women um, are mostly based on the risk profile of a patient. The risk profile of the patient is most importantly determined by their lineage, their heredity. So if their parents developed heart disease or their siblings have heart disease, then chance of them having coronary disease, and I'm using word heart disease, coronary disease in an interchangeable fashion, but the coronary disease risk is elevated. But heredity alone does not determine that you will get heart disease. It just determines the likelihood that you are more likely to get heart disease. There are additional environmental factors or coexistent genetic factors which will make it more likely for you to get heart disease, which could include if you have presence of high blood pressure, if you have elevated cholesterol levels. Very important for women, diabetes. Uh, diabetes significantly affects your risk of getting heart disease. Uh, and presence of any other injurious you know, behaviors, including smoking or using other recreational drugs like cocaine, um, they're all likely to increase your risk of getting heart disease. Women have a protection from heart disease compared to men because they present roughly 10 years later than men in age of onset. But that protection is removed if they're diabetic or if they smoke. So a smoker patient, or especially a female who is diabetic and smokes and has family history of heart disease is very likely to get heart disease if she does not change the behavior of smoking and she does not uh, you know, optimally treat and take control of her diabetes. And all these diabetes, hypertension, uh, and family history are kind of intermingled with each other through the weight gain process. So if there's a person with a, a weight distribution which looks more like an apple as opposed to a pear, they have a central body fat, they're more likely to get heart disease. So your waist to hip ratio is very important. Uh, and you can go to any chart on, on internet and look to your waist to hip ratio and you'll know what your ideal waist to hip ratio should be. And if you're higher, then your risk of heart disease is much higher than people who have normal waist to hip ratio. So total body weight is important, but waist to hip ratio is a very important determinant of the weight distribution, which also predisposes you to get heart disease because you're genetically marked for having heart disease in distribution of your fat.